Hey everybody, it's Will. Uh, welcome to one of my five minute reviews. This time we're going to take a look at Stargazer from Mad Cave Studios. Uh, now the other week I did interview uh, the writer of this series. So if you want to uh, get a deeper dive into uh, some of the symbolism and, you know, things that are going on inside the book, um, definitely check that out. That was episode 14 of Creators Outlet Podcast. Uh, so please take a look at that. And uh, right now we're going to uh, take a look at the trailer from Matt Cave Studio uh, for Stargazer. I always have the worst luck with those things. So that was the uh, the trailer from uh, Mad Cave Studios YouTube page, YouTube channel rather. It's not a page. Um, so I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to uh, Anthony Cleveland, the the writer of the series, and uh, I get to read the I get to read the book uh, a couple of weeks back, and I really dug it. It was. Uh, it's a it's a cool sci-fi uh, book. So if you like, kind of like an X Files uh, meets Stranger Things, this is definitely a cool book to to check out and read. Um, the coloring on this book was phenomenal. Um, it was it was really cool. This it's been a trend in a lot of not indie books, so to say, but like small press books where uh, the colorist is doing their interpretation of the colors uh, based on kind of like almost an emotional spectrum. Like uh, flashbacks will be, you know, one tone with, you know, the one color with those various multiple tones uh, since, you know, the four color scheme is obsolete nowadays. Um, and depending on what's going on is where you get the coloring for, you know, that scene. Uh, so that is, uh, you know, pretty much what that looks like. Um, going to uh, take a look over at the studio. And uh, so this is Mad Cave's hub where you can uh, you can go and create an account and uh, you can you can check out books you can watch the trailer you can uh, you can see the cover. Um, you can read the synopsis, which is you know pretty much the same thing that you'll find in uh, you know your uh, your previews or you know wherever you get comics. If you uh, buy from like an online source, they'll have they'll have this. Uh, so it gives you the writer Anthony Cleveland, uh, Fuso the artist. And uh, Simone is the colorist. Uh, and the basic write-up of the book is uh, years ago, Shay and her brother Kenny, who had some uh, issues, you know, was, uh, I wouldn't say mentally challenged, but he had, you know, he had something going on, so he was a little different. 
Um, this is basically uh, Shay and her friends, you know, the girlfriends, the girl, the girls group that would hang out, but because Shay's brother, you couldn't really leave him alone. She didn't want him getting in trouble or, you know, accidentally doing something bad. So uh, she used to have to take him with her everywhere. And, you know, and, you know, it's her brother. And, you know, she loves him and her and her friends like liked him and everything. Uh, but they they have a traumatic experience that's an, an unexplainable event that left Kenny scarred for life. Uh, Kenny actually commits himself to the belief that they what they experienced was an alien abduction. Uh, basically, what happens, and we can take a look right here. This is this is actually the first page right here, and. Uh, This just gives you like a little background and this is the color scheme. Like I was saying, this is a kind of like a throwback. And uh, they actually, uh, this group of scientists that actually, and you can see like right in the second panel, she's, she's got her hand over her face like, oh, geez, what's dead over there? I can smell it from here. And it's, it's just like a, a terrible odor that, and it's, leading credence to the whole uh, sci-fi uh, alien abduction thing that's going on in Kenny's head. Uh, this this is the, the fourth page going into the book. Uh, they give you like a, like a small smattering of pages just to give you like an idea of what the book looks like and the feel of it. And this is basically, you know, they're going to, they're going, they're going out. The the girls are going out, and they're gonna go stargaze. And of course, Kenny brought his telescope, and they're hanging out. And uh, one of the kids brings uh, a brother's uh, what she what she thinks is her, her brother's, you know, her backpack, and it ends up being her brother's backpack. And there's drugs in it, so figure like it's like LSD or something like that. I forget exactly what uh, what Anthony said it was, but they all basically stop tripping balls. And uh, <coughs> when the girls come down from it, they realize that, you know, they touched the drug that was absorbed into their skin and they tripped the hell out. Kenny, on the other hand, because he has other problems uh, is convinced that he was abducted by aliens. And this is, this is where they've, you know, where they touch the, touch the drugs and they're like, you know, running through the woods and, and tripping out a little bit. And this is afterwards. And uh, Anthony told me that this, this heart that they drew in the sand that's like a connection between brother and sister is a reoccurring theme in the book. So when you're reading this book, it's a mini series. So keep an eye out because this is going to be a, a following, uh, theme throughout the, uh, throughout the series. So the, I enjoy, I enjoyed the book a lot. Like, like I said, if, if you like like uh, X Files, uh, Stranger Things, you know anything anything like that, little Rod Serling thrown in there, um, this is definitely a book you want to check out. Uh, I gave the I gave the writing uh, this is, all my reviews are based out of five stars, so I gave the I gave the writing. Uh, Four stars, uh, the art three and three quarters, uh, the, col the coloring imagery I gave four, and uh, the cover I gave a four too. So I'd say we're, we're looking at a good 
a good solid, you know, 3.9 to 4.0 on this book. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's from Mad Cave Studios. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, you can find their YouTube channel just on the Mad Cave Studios, and you, you can subscribe there, and you'll be able to check out uh, a small handful of uh, video trailers that they've been doing uh, now for uh, some of their series, and uh, you can check them out on on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and their website, and you can peruse through and, and look at all the stuff they've got. Um, right now, this is Will. Quick five-minute review of Stargazer, number one, from Mad Cave Studios. I hope you check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, until next time, I'll catch you with more five-minute reviews and uh, more uh, Creators Outlet and uh, OK Boomer podcast. Uh, so until next time, take care. Go read a comic book, would you?